Remember that electron configurations are the home for the electrons, and everything's based on energy according to Aufbau. But what Aufbau didn't take into consideration was that energy wasn't the sole factor that dictated where electrons went. And in fact, that idea is manifested in two different elements. And what he didn't take into account was that energy actually had quite a bit to do with it as well. He said that they would take the lowest energy, but he forgot to think about stability as well. And so with that, we look at this diagram over here on the left. Now, I want you to take careful note at the 4S and the 3D and the associated energies between them. The 4S is much, much smaller in terms of the amount it can hold and therefore is less dependent on both electrons being there for stability. The 3D is very, very big. Think about a teeter-totter of sorts. And it sits right there in the fulcrum. If there are too many electrons in one side or another, it starts to tilt side to side, becoming more unstable. And this really only happens when it's half filled or completely filled. So because the energy associated with the 4S and the 3D sublevels are very, very, very close, something very strange happens. And there are two exceptions to the off ball that need to be brought up that of chromium and that of copper. The picture at the right shows just how these electrons fill in. Note that the 4s, which typically would be filled first according to the off ball statement, doesn't get filled first when it comes to chromium and copper. Instead what happens for overall stability of the atom is one of the 4s electrons actually moves into the 3d for stability purposes. This makes it much more stable overall. And so the resulting diagrams are these here. Chromium is 1s2, 2s2, 3p6, 4s2, 4p6, I'm sorry, let me take that back real quick. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1, that's the change, and then 3d5. That's where the stability comes in. This half filled is more stable than having only these four fill it. And then copper then becomes 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s. Again, there's that 1. And then 3d10. And with that electron moving from here all the way over to here. And these are the exceptions to off ball. Only two, but exceptions do have the way of finding their way to the test.